up everybody? How are we doing today? I'm here Saturday night. The Fro. Fro says hi. We are uh, attempt as, as you see, I got my daily one of my dailies in the garage halfway because it's too big. But um I'm trying to figure out how to do a fucking brake job. I didn't watch a video yet. <laughs> so calipers, you need to come off so I can take off the rotors and the pads. And that's what we're doing. Fro already got his spacer off, and I'm behind. I gotta get mine off. Alright. All right, we gotta go get the pads and the rotors. Fro's driving. Hope you got money, bro. Not for your shit. <laughs> I do. You want to stop and get a 12 pack or you want to get a Starbucks real quick, a tea? Free vacation and a pay raise? Absolutely. Hook me up with that too and then we got a deal. Awesome. <laughs> Done. All right. See you at the next event. All right. Thank you. This shit never gets old at you, bro. It doesn't. <laughs> you never stop using that. It doesn't. I try it. You once get, you get better time. at it, though, and you get better responses every time. Every I think time it's I try it at a different drive through and it, it always makes their day for a bit. All right. Fro's got his caliper apart. His rotor's coming off. You gotta take off two 17 millimeter bolts. One right here and one right <coughs> here. If you can see right there. And then you take off this little bracket, which I'll take off right now with a set of pliers, and then this little wire, and then these little pins pop out. I'm an expert. I watch the YouTube channels and I've seen how to do it. So this is what we're doing. All right, so these 17s are no joke. With a good breaker bar and a half inch 17 and some weight. Fuck it loose. And hopefully your breaker bar don't snap in your fucking face. Alright, so that idea I was telling you guys about with the 17 is really sketch. I, I, I screwed this damn thing in and man, I felt like I was doing something wrong. But it even made like a popping noise like three or four times. But it's out. That rotor was not my friend, dude. It's not sketch. That's what it's supposed to sound like. Pro says that's what it's supposed to sound like, guys. If that's even the proper way to extract the rotor. Every video says it hit it with the hammer. Pro and I laid on a fucking hammer. That, that was a bitch. Fro's got his together. Looks okay. Good work, Fro. Okay. 
Yeah, get your wheel off mine. Oh shit. I almost want to switch them. Huh? I almost want to swap them. Alright, you better. Alright, let me do this shit. There's no easy way to put these things on, so don't ever jack up your car so high that you gotta actually lift it. You only want to lift like a quarter of an inch if you have to and use more of a tilting method. Wish me luck. Watch me struggle. These are 285, 65, 18s. So basically they're 33s or 32 and 3 quarters or something like that. Perfect. Oh my gosh, guys, night and day difference. So I had this crazy wheel shimmy going down the road and it would like make the car wobble and sh Bro, it was so bad. I placed those pads and rotors, fucking smooth, man. I felt like I just balanced, fucking put brand new tires on. So, we got some gas, brakes are seating in. Surprisingly enough, 100 bucks later, no problem. We're good to go. So, now we're gonna see what we can do on the Civic. We got about an hour or two before Pro and I call it quits. So, hang out, see what we got going on. So, we're gonna work on the hatch. We uh, painted the bracket for the We're gonna use a lot for this shit to straight metal. Running a little bit. For the clutch fluid. And we're gonna This is what it came off of. So we're just gonna do a couple little odds and ends. We got some cool shit for the hatch, though. Over, uh, oh man. God dang it. All right, so this is a clutch hard line. And uh, Fro is opted to buy a Chase Bay flexible line. So we're just going to hang on to this just for safekeeping, just in case. And he got a new slave cylinder, a new clutch master cylinder. So we're going to swap those out real quick as well. Um, a lot of, Fro actually got a couple other things as well. So while we're at the Pet Boys tonight, we got a couple mallets because Harbor Brake. We're going black or gray, dude. We broke this shit. Um, for what? Black, right? Question on whether you want it to blend in or gray. You want it to blend in and just float? Yeah. Better than the mount? Nah. All our mounts are black. Alright, mount. We already did the like the Even that thing's black. Yeah. 
giant foe. Oh, that's not going to be seen, right? <laughs> that's what's going to be seen. No. That's not going to be seen? No, the top. What's going to be seen? That's yeah. what's going to be seen? Yeah. Ah. Well, that's what's good then. That looks good. Alright, so back to what I was saying. Show guys some things. Three way, 180 degree, two bender for hard lines. Fro's going to do with it for the brake lines. Because we're going to swap out which ones? The front Here, brakes? I'll explain that real quick. Alright. All right, so we got these hard lines here. We ended up getting the SI 99 to 00 or 2000 SI prop valve. You got the GSR master cylinder with the one inch, but if you look, it comes out this side, and the hard lines are supposed to attach on this side. So I'm going to just redo the fronts from here to the prop valve, do some custom lines, and then because we removed all the uh, charcoal container, everything else, I want to try to run it flush with the body down here. Kind of not quite a brake tuck, but out of the way brake lines. And do custom front lines. That's it. Three lines. One, two, and then the ones to here. We don't want to fuck with that. I'm glad we're learning on his car because I want to do that with mine because I got to get rid of my ABS on mine and I'm going to swap it out. That's what's up. All right, so like you were saying, oh shit, I almost jumped into that. Hammers, mallets, because we break shit. So there's a hard line bender. You got MSD. Rotor. Rotor. We got inline fuel filter. Inline K N. Here's the. Uh, That's a slave cylinder. Yeah. Yeah. Don't look like ours on the picture. And what are these? What is this? Uh, clutch master cylinder. Clutch master cylinder. Clutch slave cylinder. This is for the wire to cover any existing wire. I like it, it dude. So this is like a nylon, like. It's like a woven nylon. It's kind of, but it's cool because I thought you would have to feed it through, but it's got a split on it. There you go. But that's cool. So he's got three different thicknesses to go through the, the, throughout the harness. The engine harness so we can try to do a clean or a tuck. At least clean it up worse. Yep. At, least, at least clean it up. Got some Iridium spark plugs. And here's the I don't know what the fuck is it? The two bender, right? I thought no, you already bought the, the bender. bender. That's the, so I can double flare them. Oh shit. So you can flare the end of the brake lines. That way they don't pop out, huh? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I'll have to YouTube to learn how to use that shit. I got it. You already YouTubed it? Yeah. <laughs> Those are just little rubber, rubber clips to hold the brake lines. Oh, the nice. Smart. I found some actually really cool ones from another shop that are actually uh, billet. Oh, really? It's super clean. Here's the pipe cutter fill out of the bot no, package. I don't want to play with oh. you, you've ever played with those before? I've done it on plumbing and shit for sprinkler systems. Cam seal billet. Yeah. Cheap billet, but it's a cam seal. This is the all the hard line that you guys will see. Fro's idea, which you've seen on YouTube. A straightener to help straighten this out. You just feed it through a half inch or what is this? Quarter inch, Quarter inch tubing. Any, and it kind of. If you probably got two of those twice the length, it'll straighten it out even better. But the straightener tools were like 100, 150 bucks. Fuck that. And then I saw this guy online run it through. I saw a guy with a garden hose like that or a pipe. Okay. And then another guy with a like a broken broom. Oh, really? <laughs> 
That'll work. Yeah. I got some broken brooms. I even got some bad boobs. Yeah, yeah, straight enough and then clamp it to the wall, firewall. That'll work. So we're getting ready to put in this uh, e-brake and Fro took off the rubber around the base. We kind of like the way it looks, so he's actually, it was kind of rusted up looking, but now he's sanding it down. That doesn't look good. Hmm? What? That looks better. You can even clear it, huh? We could. It would be better if we got out the Dremel and the sanding pad. Even a wire wheel. Mm -hmm. Alright. Clutch. Master cylinder. Installed. Done. Some progress. It's gonna be hard to see, but yeah, you're not gonna be able to see. But this looks pretty good. Sand it down with a Dremel and then sandpaper. Fro thinks he wants to paint it, but I think it looks good. We'll see how he feels in a couple of days. See if he wants to change his mind. It works. Brackets are painted black. Turned out pretty good. Again, the new clutch master cylinder. We got the new slave cylinder. We couldn't put that on because that's going to get attached to the tranny and to the new cable or uh, flexible cable line. Flexible line, clutch line. Yeah. Either way, shit's coming together little by little. Today wasn't a real big progress day because we had to do the brake job on the fucking Forerunner, but Jesus Christ, that made such a difference. I'm ready to sell that thing now. Cool. Alright guys, well, that's night. I got the Forerunner done. I was stoked with that. Civic got a little bit more progress. New Clutch Master Cylinder, a lot of new parts. Uh, so new brake, yeah. Everything we're putting in here is new. That stokes me out. So um, thanks for hanging out, guys. Again, 98 Forerunner, 99 SR5. Um, those brakes were not easy, but it was like the first real break job I've ever done and I'm kind of stoked I did it so thanks for hanging out with me guys I appreciate you hanging out appreciate your comments especially the comments and the likes um, I could use as many of them as possible so uh, again thanks for hanging out guys I'll see you soon peace out